Chapter 8 Description of Datta Avatara's Manifestations People who aspire for Brahmagnanam are Brahmins. On the next day, Tirumala Das, after finishing his daily spiritual course, started telling, My dear Shankar Bhatt, while having the manifestation of Atma, that is Atma Sakshatkaram, all the 16 Kalas merge into their respective Bhutas. The respective powers of God merge into their root of origin, Chaitanyam. With the knowledge of Atma, all the karmas or actions merge into the Brahman. The people who aspire for such Brahmagnanam will become a Brahman. The 16 Kalas are the life force, Prana, Belief, Vishwasam, Sky, Air, Fire, Water, Earth, Organs of Senses and Action, the Mind, Food, Thought Process, Mantras, Karmas, Lokas, Words and the different kinds of names in this world. Shri Pada Shri Vallabha is one complete manifestation of Parabrahman with all the 16 Kalas. Food becomes mind. Mind becomes purified with Sattvic food. Vidhata or Brahma initially created life force or Prana. This is the entire life force present in the whole universe. This is called by the name Sukshmatma and Hiranyagarbha. The creator also has the name Hiranyagarbha. The force responsible for the creation of man's physical, mental and knowledge forms is called Prana. The layer of life force of the eternal body is called Shakti body. By correcting the Chaitanyam of life forces, the problems of the gross physical body can be removed. Before a man's physical body becomes diseased, the layer of life force gets diseased. After the life force was stabilized, the Panchabhutas had formed. To have a feel of these Panchabhutas, the five sense organs were formed. To coordinate these things so that action is done simultaneously, mind had formed. Men should take care of the food they are eating. To finest of the finest parts of food, form the mind. When mind becomes strong, thoughts occur. If the flow of thoughts has been coordinated and kept under control, it is called mantra which is the image of these controlled thoughts. Doing the sacrifices like yagnas and yagas and chanting mantras in the proper way while doing them is called karma or action. The whole world is created according to the karmas. World cannot exist without name and form. Thus, the chain of teethers or attachments which are the cause of grief is formed with 16 colors. Each one of our organs is influenced by one God. When a yogi who is in the Samadhi has the vision of Atma, that is Atma Sakshatkaram, these 16 Kalas or colors get merged in their respective Bhutas. The powers in the organs of the physical body of a yogi get merged in the Bhutas of the universe. Man who has organs of senses and actions cannot remain without performing actions or karmas. Liberation, moksha cannot be achieved if the ego is not lost. By the influence of ego, man does actions or karma. Ego is the dynamic light bound by mind and intellect and by their limitations. A yogi who had atmasakshatkaram will not have any residual tendencies of previous births. Unless the ego is completely annihilated, one cannot have atmasakshatkaram. So when yogi gets Atma Sakshatkaram, the karmas, their fruits, the center of ego and its mesmerizing power, all will merge in the Paramatma who is eternal. After merging in Paramatma, he loses his individuality. Paramatma with individuality is in the form of Shakti. Yogi, after annihilation of karmas and their fruits, is becoming a Siddha. Though his gross body is suffering the fruits of karma, he still remains a liberated soul and he has no consciousness of the gross body. Paramatma can express his divine leelas through a yogi who is in a siddha state. If the yogi thinks that those powers and capabilities are his own, Paramatma will withdraw them and insults him. Yogi's ego should merge in Paramatma so that he can be used as an instrument by him. 
ಶ್ರೀ ಬಾಪಣ್ಣಾರ್ಯ ಇನ್ವೋಕ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ ಇಂಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಂ ಮಹಾಬಲೇಶ್ವರ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಇನ್ ಗೋಕರ್ಣಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಆರ್ಬೆಟ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪವರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಡಯಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ದತ್ತ ಇನ್ ಪೀಟಿಕಾಪುರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಗ್ನಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಕಮ್ ಟು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಿ ಪನಿಷ್ಡ್ because of the intensity of the power of the deity unwanted results will occur only yogis who have the inner eye will know that the shakti patham invocation of power was done in swayambhu datta from solar orbit the shakti patham in shri shailam happened in the presence of thousands of people under the guidance of shri bapannarya the light emerged from solar orbit and merged in mallikarjuna lingam when all were watching This is a inner divine secret for the manifestation of Shri Pada Shri Vallabha and this Shakti Peetam. It is a matter to be revealed to or be known only by great yogis. Shanti or pacification was done at Shri Shailam. As thousands were given food, the Agni in the stomach was pacified. When Shakti leaves its destructive nature and stays in peace, all auspicious things happen. but there was no proof to be seen by the eye that shakti patam was done in swayambhu datta in pitikapuram so the necessary things to pacify the deity were not carried out even though shri bapannarya indicated that shanti and annadanam should be done the pandits there rejected that proposal with their meaningless arguments shri pada is embodiment of all 16 kalas time was passing Shri Pada Shri Vallabha entered second year. He used to indicate that he was a complete avatar of Datta with all 16 kalas embodied by his many leelas. He left Pitikapuram at the age of 16. Even though he roamed in Kuruvapuram for 14 years and some other places, his age remained at 16. The names of 16 avataras of Dattatraya. The number 16 has significance. Shri Pada had given darshan in previous yugas in 16 forms. They are Yogi Raju, Atri Varada, Digambara Avadhuta, Shri Dattatraya, Kalag Nishamana, Yogi Jana Vallabha, Leela Vishwambhara, Siddha Raju, Nana Sagara, Vishwambara Avadhuta, Maya Mukta Avadhuta, Adi Guru, Samskara Heena Shiva Swarupa, ದೇವದೇವ ದಿಗಂಬರ ದತ್ತಾವಧೂತ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಕಮಲ ಲೋಚನ ಯೋಗಿ ರಾಜು ವೈಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪೆನನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಅತ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನಸೂಯ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗಿ ರಾಜು ಆನ್ ದ ವೆಡ್ನಸ್ ಡೇ ಬುಧವಾರ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಕೃತಿಕ ವೈಲ್ ಸನ್ ವಾಸ್ ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅವತಾರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ Atri Varada Atri Maharshi had darshan of this form in the samadhi state for 100 years because of the intensity of the fire of tapas the three lokas were disturbed to pacify that dattatreya gave the divine darshan to him with six hands on one padyami first day of the second half of the month kartik in the early hours on thursday in guru hora in the star rohini and gave him boons this avatar is called atri varada digambara avadhuta shri dattatreya atri maharshi prayed prabhu who came in the form of atri varada please grant me a son like you swami said there is none equal to me i am donating myself to you he gave darshan as an infant in digambara form that was friday in the star mrigashira the time of sunrise and the second day of the second half of the month kartik this manifestation is called digambara avadhuta shri dattatraya kalagni shamana datta this digambara avadhuta shri dattatraya was seen both by atri and anasuya on wednesday on the full moon day in the month of margashira highly intense tejas light energy resembling the agni fire of pralaya kala came out of the maharshi's eyes and entered the womb of anasuya mata after entering the womb it intensely abated 
that paran jyoti changed into a male fetus this is called kalagni shamana datta avatar my dear shankar bhat the murti of kalagni shamana was being worshiped in the house of appala raju sharma for many generations the time of avatar of shri datta and the time of avatar of shri pada shri vallabha yogi jana vallabha our swami who was kalagni shamana was born in the evening sandhya or sunset on the full moon day in the month of margashira thursday and in the star brigashira as a playful infant that form is called yogi jana vallabha my dear shri pada shri vallabha was born on the auspicious day of ganesh chaturthi at sunrise in the star chitra in the tula rashi sign of balance and simha lagnam in petikapuram as a son of highly merited sumati mata in kaliyugam for the first time leela vishwambara avatar many great munis requested our swami who manifested as yogi jana vallabha to initiate them into yoga marga to test them swami created an illusory kanya girl playing with her he dipped into one river and disappeared this is called leela vishwambara avatar this leela happened on wednesday morning on the full moon day of the month of pushya my dear that illusory girl was none other than anagha mata who is the ardhanga lakshmi of the tatraya that divine auspicious form is in the left half of shri pada shri vallabha in the right half is shri tatraya so shri pada shri vallabha form is the form of ardhana reshwara this is a divine secret Shri Datta's other manifestations are Prabhu lived in Badarikasham for some time the Siddha people tried to test Shri Swami then Shri Swami deprived them from all their powers when they surrendered he granted atma siddhi to them this happened on thursday afternoon on one full moon day in the month of magha in makha star this form which granted atma siddhi to siddha munis is called siddha raju my dear exactly 2498 years before he manifested as shri pada shri vallabha on ganesh chaturthi one strange thing happened great yogis in different higher spiritual states did intense penance in badarikashram and prayed for the darshan of datta prabhu then shri prabhu gave the darshan as a 25 year old young form He taught them Kriya Yoga, which was very ancient, and which accelerated the progress of transformation of jivas. The mental chaitanya, which otherwise takes one lakh years in natural course of transformation to reach the wholesome state, will achieve it in a few years because of Kriya Yoga. The great power in the highest dynamic planes will be attracted into the chaitanya of earth, water, air, fire. and sky and in accordance with the will of that maha shakti the gross bodies in the lower planes will be transformed this is called kriya yoga this is the most secretive type of yoga of shri dattatreya with this the molecules in the body will get charged with oxygen the carbon in the body will be removed this is the royal path to defeat death and become mrityanjay they called that parama guru form who taught them raja yoga as shri baba ji it was shri baba ji only who appeared as chandala to adi shankara and taught him gnana he is still present in the physical body they could not ask shri dattatreya who gave darshan as baba ji to take birth on earth bhumandalam they regretted for that all those great yogis reached in kaivalya shrunga sthal between nepal and bhutan and did intense penance there were many yogis having more than some hundred of years of age they had great power of tapas to their credit hearing their prayers prabhu gave darshan as a result of their prayers a great mass of light having the light intensity equal to that of one crore suns appeared in the sky that light took the shape of an old man they called the mahaprabhu as shri vishveshwara mahaprabhu they prayed him to keep giving them darshan always then prabhu said that he would give darshan once in 12 years 
They said that it was a long period. Then he said that he would give darshan in once in six years. They said it was also a long gap. Graceful at heart, he promised that he would give darshan once in six months. Then those Siddha groups asked him to take avatar on earth. Then Sri Vishweshwara Mahaprabhu promised that he would take birth as Sri Pada Sri Vallabha in P. Tikapuram after 2498 years. He also promised that his partial manifestations Amshavataras would come 12 times and the 12th avatar Sri Ramalal Mahaprabhu would grant Nirvikalpa Samadhi to a yati by name Vasudevananda Saraswati. Vasudevananda Saraswati will later identify Sri Bapanarya's house in Pitikapuram where Sri Pada was born. But he will not be able to install Padukas in that place because that opportunity or the yogam of installing Padukas will be given to someone else. My dear Shankar Bhatt, remember that the will of Sri Pada Sri Vallabha is the only reason for a work to happen, not to happen or to happen in a different way. I said, Sir, Tirumala Das, the installation of Padukas is a small thing. Should it take centuries to happen? Tirumala Das said, My dear, that is the plea of Sri Pada Sri Vallabha. Without his will, even one small leaf will not move. In Bhadri forest in Dronagni, which is also called Sanjeevini mountain, he appears as a 25 year of old person and is called by name Babaji. In Kaivalya Shrunga, mountains between Nepal and Bhutan, he is seen in an old form by the name Sri Vishweshwara Mahaprabhu. Now he is giving darshan as a 16 year child yati in Kuruvapuram. He is in these three forms at the same time. Shri Kanyaka Parameshwari, who is Adi Parashakti, is in a cave in Dasaswamedha Ghat as Babaji's sister. My dear, Shri Pada's Leelas are unthinkable, cannot be understood by arguments and never seen or heard before. The Vaishya Munis did great yagna in Kashi under the direction of Markandeya Maharshi. Then, Shri Kanyaka Parameshwari gave darshan in Dasaswamedha Ghat and blessed them. That was a full moon day in the month of Ashada. Veda Vyas was also born on the Ashada Purnima day. This Purnima is called Guru Purnima. Shri Dattatreya is the Guru of all Gurus and is the Adi Guru, first teacher. Samskara Hina Shiva Swarupa Parashurama was doing a great yagna that is sacrifice. On one Monday, on the eighth day of the first half of the month of Shravan, Swami sat under a Krishna Malaka tree and taught his real Shiva Tattvam to a Muni by name Pingalanadha. This is called Shiva Swarupa or Samskara Hina manifestation. Deva Deva Brahma Deva once forgot Vedas. On one Thursday on the fourteenth day of the month of Bhadrapada in the Shatabisha star, he surrendered to Dattatraya and Swami granted him Vedas. This is called Deva Deva Avatar. Digambara Avatar Swami gave darshan to King Yadu and told him about his 24 gurus and graced him. This is called Digambara Avatar. This happened on one Wednesday on the full moon day in the month of Ashwayuja. Datta Avadhuta There is a good devotee called Gorakshaka. He is also called Goraknatha. Swami manifested to him on one full moon day in the month of Jesta. This form is called Tattavadhuta Avatar. The followers of Goraksha are in Nepal area. The copy of Shripada Shrivalabha's horoscope is there in Shukranadi Grantham. In due course of time, it will come from Nepal to Sri Pethikapuram. From then onwards, Countless people come to Sri Petikapuram for darshan of Datta Padukas. Nana Sagara Avatar My dear, after the avatar of Siddha Raju, Swami entered into his wholesome Gnana Yoga. This form, which entered the Gnana Yogam in the early hours of Sunday on the tenth day of the first half of the month Phalguna, is called Gnana Sagara Avatar. Vishvampara Vadhuta The Siddha Munis who took Gnana Yogam from our Prabhu, continued their sadhana. To test them, 
Prabhu took the most ugliest form. He showered wholesome grace on those yogis who surrendered to him. This happened on Tuesday on the full moon day in the month of Chaitram in Chitta star. This is called Vishwambara Avadhuta Avatar. Maya Mukta Avadhuta There lived a good Brahmin in Kashi Kshetram. On one Wednesday on the 14th day of the first half of the month of Vaishaka in Swati star, the ceremony of his ancestors was being performed. On that sacred holy ceremony day, one beggar wearing a kaupinam entered that house with his dog and desecrated it. The Brahmin's anger crossed the limits, but the beggar made his dog chant the Veda mantras. The Brahmin recognized him as Datta Swami and fell on his feet. That was the same Brahmin who became a great devotee of Datta by name Vishnu Datta in one Janma. Swami was pleased and gave a boon that he would take the avatar of Shri Pata Shri Vallabha and those merited couple would be born as Sumati and Appala Raju Sharma in their house. They would worship Kalagnishamana Datta Murti and he would be born as their child. This form has the name Maya Mukta Avadhuta. The dual form of Datta Swami and Anakha Lakshmi that manifested to kill Jambhasura is called Adi Guru Avatar. Shyama Kamala Lochana On one Wednesday, on the twelfth day of first half of the month of Karthik in Revati star, at the time of sunrise, Sri Tatta Prabhu gave darshan to countless people with the black lotus-like eyes. Shyama Kamala Lochana spreading the nectarine shower of divine light rays from his eyes. This murti is called Shyama Kamala Lochana. Sri Datta Prabhu is the one who grants wealth as well as liberation. It is enough to worship his padukas. The four Vedas are licking his padukas, taking the form of four dogs. When the Vedas, which can drive away all desecrations, took the forms of desecrating dogs and were lying at his feet, men, gods and even the seven sages cannot measure the sacredness of his padukas. Previously, at the time of avatar of Vaman, there was a Rishi by name Vamana Maharshi. While he was being born, his head once came out of the mother's womb, looked at the surroundings and again went into the womb. On the prayers of gods and Rishis, he was born again. He was a Brahma Gnani throughout his life. Sri Pada's birth also happened similarly, as he was born twice. He is a Dvija from birth itself. He is rich with Brahma Gnana. He manifested with wholesome, unbroken, endless, Advaita, Satchit, Ananda form. So in this avatar also, he had no Guru. Sri Pada was born on Ganesh Chaturthi day in Chitta star in the zodiac sign of Tula, Libra and in Simha Lagnam. In reality, he is not the combined form of three murtis, Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwar, but a special tattvam transcending them. To indicate this, he was born on the Chaturthi Thiti, fourth day. He was born on Ganesha Chaturthi day to indicate that he had the Ganesh tattvam, which was the head of the Pravritti as well as Nivritti Ganas. Angaraka, Kucha is the head of Chitta star. Angaraka is also called Mangalagraham. If this planet is sinful, Jiva will have many inauspicious events. To destroy all inauspicious events and grant all auspiciousness, he was born in Chitta star. If Sri Pada is worshipped on Chitta star, special merit will be accrued. Sri Pada is Dharma Shasta. To indicate that he was Ayappa Swami, who was Harihara Atmaja, he was born in the zodiac sign of Tula, Libra Balance. By being born in sons, Surya, Simhalagnam, he was indicating that he was the Prabhu, Lord of the Universe and a Chakravarti, King of Kings, who came to the Darbar. There is no subtle dharma not known to Sri Pada. When there is a dilemma on righteousness, the right path will be visible if anyone prays to him. From Datta Prabhu, Trimurtis and from them the three crore gods and from them 33 crore gods had come. 
So, if Tata's name is remembered, it is equal to remembering all the gods and goddesses. One should do Rishi Puja for the Brahma face of Shri Datta, Vishnu Sahasranama and Satya Narayana Vratam for Vishnu face and Rudra Bhishekam for Rudra face. Saraswati is there on the tongue of his Brahma face. Lakshmi is there on the chest of Vishnu Mukham and Gauri Devi is there on the left half of Shiva face. All the power of the female goddesses are present in the left half of Sripada. All the power of male gods is present in the right half of Sripada. Lord Sri Venkateshwara who revealed himself in Tirupati on the seven hills is none other than Sripada Srivallabha. When means sins. Kata means destroy. The one who destroys sins is called Venkata. When Karam is the second letter of Amrit, Nectar. Kata is the seed letter for wealth. So Venkateshwar gives wealth and destroys all sins. Shri Venkateshwara and Shri Pata Shri Vallabha are not different. I asked, Sir, Tirumaladas, in olden days elders said that dharmas of Varnashram should be followed. I think that Shri Pata Shri Vallabha was telling something different. Please clear my doubt. The qualities of a Brahman. Then Tirumala Das started telling like this. My dear, a Brahman should spend his life immersed in the search for Brahman. Then only he is called Sat Brahman or a good Brahman. If he leaves the karmas prescribed for a Brahman and does bad practices, he should not be called a Brahman. If his bad practices exceed the limits, that is, if he kills cows and eats its flesh and go with women, we can understand that there is not even a trace of Brahma Tattva in him. The Brahman glow completely vanishes in him because of excessive bad practices. The live molecules in his body also change in a number of ways and he becomes a Chandala. He is a Brahman only for namesake. Akshatriya, with a keen desire for Brahmagnana, can become a Brahman with relentless tapas. The lal molecules in his body get the qualities of a Brahman. Vishwamitra became a Brahman in that way. While Shanishwara was travelling in the three Rashis for seven and a half years, the live molecules in people will undergo change. Old molecules die. New molecules will be created. All this process happens without the person noticing it. If a Kshatriya leaves his Kshatra Dharma and follows peaceful occupations like agriculture, tending cows etc. and do business and he gets completely involved in that, the Kshatram with Rajasic qualities will not stay in him. His mind, attitude and body gets many changes and he becomes a Vaishya. If a Brahman takes up the Kshatra occupation, he becomes like Parashurama. In previous times, Dronacharya and Kripacharya, in spite of being Brahmins by birth, took up Kshatra Dharma. Kusuma Shreshti, though he was a Vaishya, took up Kshatra Dharma. Though Ayama Shudra by birth, got Brahmagnana by the grace of Sripada. A person who is born as a Shudra can become a Vaishya, Kshatriya, or a Brahman by relentless effort. Yama Dharma Raja will not punish or spare any person simply because he is born in a particular caste. Depending on our auspicious or inauspicious actions, results will be granted. I can be born as a Brahman in next birth, though I am born as a Shudra in this birth. The classification of caste was done for certain social customs. Sri Padavallabha once said that Paramatma's face indicated Brahma Tattvam, the shoulders Kshatram, the thighs Vaishyatvam and the feet Shudratvam. Shankar Bhatt, you are receiving hospitality in our house. The food in our house is Brahmin food only. The Secret of Karma This area and surroundings are filled with divine vibrations which are auspicious and sacred because of relentless remembrance of Shri Pada. Though Narasavadhani is a Brahmin by birth, all the physical, mental and spiritual vibrations in that house are polluted. So, 
Shripada did not accept their hospitality because of the polluted atmosphere in that house. This is the secret in this. The caste system must be there for the jivas to take birth according to the rule of karma in the course of their transformation. That is why the system has been created. The person John, though a German national, was a seeker of Brahmagnana. So in the last phase of that process of change, he had the fortune of having Sri Pada's darshan in Kuruvapuram and could get his grace. Narsavadhani, though a resident of Pitikapuram, could not recognize Sri Pada as an incarnation for many years. Even after recognizing, it became impossible to get his grace except after a long process of sadhana. I asked, you said that the life molecules would change. Then, is there Atma for every race? Parvati Devi is said to be the daughter of Himalaya mountain. What is the meaning in it? Tirumala Das said, Every social class has got an Atma. That is a mental material. That is a part that has come out of Sri Datta who is divine Atma. It is the great power that has a direct relation to it. Social class does not mean the total group of people born in that class as you think. That is the combined personality. The different powers, capabilities and qualities of the people will be merged in that combined personality. Similarly, every village has got an Atma. Every town has got Atma. Every country has got an Atma. The earth on which we live also has got an Atma. We call it Bhumata. That means the supporting goddess of the earth is called Bhumata. Her Atma is a great power which got separated from Paramatma and having connections with it. Similarly, the power of the supporting god of the Himalaya mountains is called Himavanta. His daughter is Haimavati. When we say Yamadharma Raju is the son of Surya Bhagavan, who is the universal witness for everything, we mean it is a divine Atma which gives judgment depending on the auspicious actions and punishes the sinners. All living beings are able to do their respective actions by getting energy from Surya Bhagavan. The sun seen in the sky is different. The divine Atma which supports that sun is different. I told you that Sri Pada Sri Vallabha would hide his form at the age of 30. He will merge in every atom in the crores and crores of Brahmandas. You may ask, what is meant by merging when he is already present everywhere and is omnipresent? Though he is omnipresent, there are crores and crores of Brahmandas some distance away from the influence of his power. To facilitate the transformation in them, he attracts them close to the influence of his power. In all this creation, whenever there is any adversity during the course of transformation, Sri Dattatraya takes avatar like this. A magnet will attract iron, but when the same iron is covered with impurities, the attraction will weaken. This type of avatar comes to give a new direction to the process of universal transformation by removing the impurities in the creation and attracting every atom towards him. Discussion of Panchakanyas I asked Tirumala Das, Sir, people say, Ahalya Draupadi Sita Tara Mandodari Tatha Panchakanyam Pathe Nityam Mahapatakanashane This I am not able to understand easily. Please explain. Tirumala Das said, Devendra fell in love with Ahalya. He did a deceitful plot to get her. He took the shape of a cock and shouted Kukurukoku. Gautama thought it was dawning and went out for his daily morning religious rites. Devendra could not touch Ahalya because she was a chaste woman, Pavitratma. As Devendra was having godly powers and by the intensity of his desire for Ahalya, a woman figure appeared exactly resembling Ahalya. The live molecules in the body of the illusory Ahalya were all made of the intense mental power of Devendra only. Gautama saw Indra along with illusory Ahalya and cursed both of them. The real Ahalya then said, O oh foolish Muni, what have you done? Ahalya was at a higher spiritual level than Gautama. 
by the curse of Ahalya, Gautama had disturbed mind for 12 years and at the end became healthy after worshipping Shiva. Ahalya's mental power became stony. By the touch of Sri Rama's feet dust, she got released from the curse. So, learn that Ahalya was a pure soul. The cursed Devendra was born as five Pandavas. Though they were five forms and five minds, the Atma which was the support of them was all one. This was a strange thing. Sachi Devi manifested in the Yagna Kundam as Draupadi. She was an Ayonija. Agni had hidden the real Sita in him. Ravana took the illusory Sita to Lanka. When Sita entered Agni, two Sitas came out. So learn that Sita was a great Pativrata. In Bha Chakra, there are 12 Rishis or zodiac signs and in them there are 27 stars. The supporting goddess of these 27 stars was born as Tara Devi. When she was in youth, Brihaspati who is the supporting god of Guru Graham, Jupiter, saw her and fell in love and married her. An old husband cannot satisfy a young woman. This was against dharma. It is not pardonable to transgress the promises made at the time of marriage. When Tara Devi looked at Brihaspati, she would not get the feeling that he was her husband. Brihaspati had the responsibility to make her feel that he was her husband. Knowing all the dharmas, he behaved against dharma. The life molecules in Tara Devi's body transformed in many ways according to her mental feelings. Her mind was filled with the form of Chandra, moon. Her heart was under the influence of Chandra. The Tara Devi who was transformed like this was not the same Tara Devi who married Brihaspati previously. So the union of Tara and Chandra was not against Dharma. According to the rules of creation, it is the Dharma of Chandra to go around the 27 stars. It is not the Dharma of Guru Graham. If Guru Graham moves like that, it would be against Dharma. Anything which is against Dharma will perish. So, Tara Devi who is the supporting goddess of 27 stars belong to Chandra who is the supporting god of Chandra Mandalam. That is the Dharma. In accordance with this subtle Dharma, Tara Devi is a great Pativrata. When Bhishma was on the bed of arrows, he taught Dharma Raja. When something bad is happening, one should try to stop if it is possible. Otherwise, one should leave that place. Hearing that, Draupadi laughed. Then Bhishma said, while Draupadi's cloths were being removed, I kept quiet. In those days, I was eating the food provided by Duryodhana and others. So my attitude got spoiled. That bad blood had flown out of my body now. Now my nature has no impurity. Truth has dawned. GV takes many births during the course of transformation. In some births, he may be born as a woman and in some births as a man. Mandodari was born as a man in one birth. In that birth, he had three wives. One was fickle-minded, one was cruel and the third one was a soft one. The fickle-minded one took birth as Vali. The cruel one took birth as Ravana and the soft-natured one was born as Vibhishana. All the three were Mandodari's wives in previous Kalpa where Mandodari was born as a man. In the present birth, Mandodari became wife to Vali and Angada was born to them. Later, she became Ravana's wife. After Ravana was killed, she became the queen of Vibhishana. The life molecules in her were different when she was a wife of Vali, Ravana and Vibhishana. So, Mandodari was also a great Pativrata. I asked, Sir, people say that women should only have one husband and man should have only one wife. Is it not despicable to have more wives and more husbands? The Transformation of Karma Chakra Cycle of Karma Tirumala Das said, What you say is true in every letter. It is said that if one harasses his wife without reasons, he will become a widow in childhood in seven births. If one man marries four or five women, he will be born as a woman in the next birth. Those four or five women in their sexual tendencies 
were not satisfied will be born as men and will have sexual relations with her if that happens in one birth it will be treated as promiscuity instead if those men marry that girl in different births there is no sin this is the effect of kala chakra in this great chakra many such strange things happen if one is born as a woman she should follow the dharma related to that birth if born as a man he should follow his dharma similarly the sinners who separate wife and husband will be born as a neutral gender who are neither men nor women napumsakas and will experience mental torture not knowing what the happiness of married life is eating meat is prohibited let us assume that a person kills one goat and eats it along with 10 people that goat will suffer unbearable pain while leaving the body those painful vibrations remain hidden in the vayu mandalam my dear in air the painful vibrations and pleasant vibrations both will remain hidden pleasant vibrations are generated by good deeds painful vibrations are generated by bad actions the dead goat will think that it should kill those 10 men who ate its flesh because of that reason the goat will take a man's birth as it was thinking of men at the time of death those men will take birth as goats in this way for every action there will be a reciprocal reaction in due course so men should develop the habit of forgiveness if such a person sees a goat he will not like to eat its flesh even if that goat was the man who ate him in previous birth he should forgive it and do pranadana thus the cycle of karma chakra stops the combined merit of the people of pitikapuram and their combined sin gave fruit suddenly and became the reason for the birth of shri pada shri vallabha merited people recognized him as shri datta and got auspicious results sinners did not recognize him as shri datta and got inauspicious results people who blame shri pada shri vallabha while worshiping shri datta will get ravrava naraka if the thing is not understood it is better to keep quiet but one should not blame that divine great auspicious figure there were people who gave aarti to the face but hit nails in the feet people who blame datta avatar will get venereal diseases moreover shri datta incorporated one strange yoga shakti in his graceful play merited people on remembering the name of shri datta will get all desires fulfilled without any effort the sinners who blame shri vallabha will have obstacles and undesirable effects in plenty shri pada's form is agni what he wears is agni vastram the sacred yoga agni is his form to describe the greatness of his padukas it will take yugas even vedas and upanishads will not be able to describe the greatness of his padukas completely how many yugas are completed how many kalpas have passed how many cycles of creation protection and annihilation has happened but shri datta is shri datta only there is no one equal to him he indeed is shri pada shri vallabha every atom in this creation will testify to this great truth reinstallation of swayambhu datta one strange avadhuta came to pitikapuram he was a mad looking siddha he was a strange sadhu who gave his blessings by scolding and cursing words if he praised somebody his merit would be lost the people of pitikapuram asked that siddha where the swayambhu datta was the siddha said that after taking bath in all sacred places he was now in ela river when they searched in ela river the idol was found on one auspicious moment it was reinstalled by sarva mangala devi sumati maharani and brahma teja shri appala raju sharma this happened in accordance with the wish of that siddha shri bapannarya presided over that great function vidyaranyas manifestation on the day of reinstallation of idol in the temple bapannarya invited that siddha to his house for bhiksha the siddha agreed he had darshan of shri pada who was in his grandfather's house 
a great affection overflowed in that Siddha towards that divine child of two years of age. The child climbed the shoulder of his maternal uncle Venkavadhanulu and playing with Shikha and doing strange childhood acts. He looked at Siddha and started laughing. Hearing that laughter, the Siddha went into Samadhi. When he came into consciousness, Shripada told him, Madhava, when I become 16 years old, Bukkarayudu will establish Hindu dynasty in accordance with your wish. You be with Harihara and Bukkarayudu. You will become famous as Vidyaranya Maharshi. In the coming centuries, Govinda Dikshitulu will be born in your brother's house. That Govinda Dikshitulu is none else but you. You will become a Rajarshi and be the Prime Minister of Tanjore. Then, pleasure tears flowed from the eyes of that Siddha. He took Sripada into his hands and embraced him. Casually, Sripada touched the Siddha's feet. Siddha said, What is this strange thing? Then Sripada said, You will become the head of Sringeri Peetam and become famous as Vidyaranya. In the lineage of your disciples, you will be born as a third disciple with the name Krishna Saraswati. You have son-like affection towards me. So when I take avatar as Drasimha Saraswati, you as Krishna Saraswati will give me Sanyasa Diksha. Kashi Vishweshwara and Annapurna Mata are witness for this. You have to uplift the Sanyasa Dharma. Vajapeya Yajula Madhavacharya a Rikvedi who belongs to the lineage of Parashara Gotra with three Rishis, Vashishta, Shakti and Parashara will certainly become famous as Vidyaranya Maharshi. My dear, tomorrow I will tell you some more incidents. Thus, Tirumala Das closed that day's narration. Victory to Shri Pada Shri Vallabha, Shri Pada Rajam Sharanam Prapadhyay.